are on a mission to help the body of Christ worldwide, preparing the faithful for the second coming of Jesus Christ. We do this by exposing the tricks of the devil, diving deep into the Word of God, and doing life together. Along the way, we'll include a power promise to claim and ridiculous trivia. We are not alone. We have a divine hope for home. Welcome to the Christian Soul Prepper Podcast. Right here, right now, we give you the God's honest truth. Sure to bookmark brotherlance.com for all the latest podcasts, video, Bible studies, social media, and more. Now, here's your host, Brother Lance. Welcome to the Christian Soul Prepper Podcast, preparing your soul for the second coming. So glad you could join us. The body of Christ would not be the same without you. You are wanted, you are needed, and you are loved very much. Welcome to episode zero, the introduction to the new podcast. We wanted to start out strong, so we have lined up for you three special guests. Today, we're going to be talking to Jack Dorsey, CEO of Twitter, Bill Gates, and Barack Obama. Yes, we did that. It's an amazing thing. What? Hold on. Yeah? Jack just canceled? He he had a board meeting with Xi Jinping. Ah, he had to go to the home office. I understand, I understand. Ain't no party like a communist party because a communist party don't stop. Well, do me a favor. Please tweet Mr. Dorsey that gab.com is now my preferred option for social texting. Yeah. yeah mm-hmm. Thank you, yes. All right, sorry, folks. We have um, more lined up for you. Bill Gates and Barack Obama are still lined up. I'm sure they are ready to share their great wisdom with them. But before we start, it's the power promise. Now it's time for the power promise. God's word for your every need. Are you feeling worried? Well, here's your power promise. Philippians 4, 6 through 7. In nothing be anxious, but in everything, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your thoughts in Christ Jesus. Write it down, remember it, recite it often. It's the power promise. All right, welcome back to the Christian Soul Prepper podcast. What we're doing here with the podcast is I've been making YouTube videos and uh, other such things, and they're very time consuming. Uh, especially for the amount of return on investment of views and such. So the goal with this podcast is to prepare the soul for the second coming of Jesus Christ. That's the goal. And the reason why we're going to do podcasts instead of videos, we're still going to do videos, but we're going to mainly focus on podcasts because they're easier to produce. And the upside of podcasts is you can take them anywhere. The downside to videos is most people only watch the first 10 seconds of a video. I mean, they're like four year olds with a remote control with too many buttons and they have to figure out what all the buttons do because you might miss something. So they jump from video to video to video trying to be buzzed in the first 10 seconds. The upside of a podcast is while you're pushing the other buttons in your life, you can be listening to the podcast. You can be taking a shower or uh, at work. You could be doing laundry. You could do whatever you do in your day working out. And you can listen to a podcast. So it lends itself to people on the move. Uh, I feel like people will have a better opportunity to listen to the whole entire thing instead of just 50% of it and jump to the next video. Uh, Because unfortunately, that's the mentality of most people these days is there's so much information out there that everybody's afraid they're going to miss something. And then most people get on their social media platforms and they get stuck in Twitter prison or YouTube prison or Instagram prison, and they never leave the reservation of those prisons, not realizing there's a gigantic web of opportunity and information out there. So in an effort to get the information out, right, and to um, spread it as fast and far as possible and make it easier for uh, on the go, 
we're going to do a podcast. Still, they're going to do videos and do some other things, but our primary focus is going to be the podcast. And the upside about it is that they're easier to share. You download them, give them to people. They, they're easy to get offline, and then you can keep them and share them. And that's the, the main goal is that we want it to live beyond the Internet other than just, you know, being stuck in Twitter prison or YouTube prison or, you know, one of these websites. So until we can get uh, our hosting sites set up and choose which ones are easiest for people to use, we will be posting them on YouTube. All right. Uh, so, and on top of that, we are going to try to keep as lighthearted as humanly possible because this is deep subjects and, and, um, uh, you know, we need some humor, some brevity, you know, it's always good in the learning process. Ask that, uh, that one preacher on television. I laugh at every one of his sermons. Yes. But, um, we have <laughs> currently about 90, uh, shows lined up. Uh, different topics on dealing with life, dealing with tricks of the devil, getting into the scriptures, into the word of God, probably in ways that most people have never experienced before. Because as far as I can tell, uh, the way I see people uh, doing their Bible studies, uh, it's not very deep. It's usually a couple, maybe one or two uh, verses and lots of jokes. Jokes are fine, but it really can't be at the cost of teaching the word of God. Oh, hold on. Okay, guys, that great news. Bill Gates is on the line. Bill, sorry, uh, Mr. Gates, welcome to the show. It is your distinct honor to be talking with me. Hello, Mr. Gates? Um, do we still have Bill? He hung up. What? Did you tell him I purchased Windows XP back in the day? You know, the professional version with the NT kernel? That should have counted for something. Why did he hang up? We offended him? Hmm? Does he know I still use Microsoft Word 07? I've been very loyal for 14 years. Shouldn't that count for something? No? Well, the only thing he ever gave me was a CTV, a computer transmitted virus. That's what I get for my loyalty. They say it'll be with me forever. Kind of concerned. <clears throat> well, do me a favor. Will you forward to his office my purchase order for Linux? And download my log uh, of the Brave web browser I downloaded. And yes, take a screenshot of me using DuckDuckGo with the search result in there for how to delete Windows off my computer. Because I think we're breaking up now. I will not put up with this from Mr. Bill Gates. Yes, that's right. It's time for some totally ridiculous trivia comes up with this stuff anyways i mean really where do you find it wait, 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 wait. don't say anything that's gonna make me feel dumber all right today's ridiculous trivia question how many foreskins did david cut off the philistines to marry saul's daughter michael we read first samuel 18 25 saul said tell david the king desires no dowry except 100 foreskins of the Philistines to be avenged of the king's enemies. Now Saul thought he would make David fall before the hand of the Philistines. But mm, David's awesome. First Samuel 18, 27. David arose and went, and he and his men, and killed 200 men of the Philistines. Then David brought their foreskins and then gave them in full number to the king, that he might be the king's son-in-law. So, being the overachiever he was, David threw himself into his work, and killed and cut 200 foreskins. So the answer is 200 foreskins. And upon his return to his soon would be wife, Michael, she was singing, If you want, gotta put a ring on it. Oh, oh, oh. But not one of those 200 you just brought my dad. Oh, you're done? <laughs> yes, yes, the people rejoice. It's over. Thank goodness. Tune in next time when we can insult your intelligence all over again. Have a good day. Right here I have in my hands from my never nicotine stained fingers a random piece of paper. Just because I used to love it when Rush Limbaugh would do that. I don't know why. It's like a audio file thing. I don't know. I also loved it when he uh, would talk to... Uh, his producer wouldn't let you in on the conversation. I thought that was always great, too. I mean, great. Oh, wait, what? Hold on, guys. <laughs> okay, Barack Obama 
is on the phone and ready to go. Great. Uh, okay, he's on hold. Okay, that's perfect. Well, folks, that's all the time we have today. Be sure to tune in next time as we take a never nicotine stained fingered look through the Word of God with all of my brain tied behind my back. Thank you for joining us in this time of fellowship. Visit WeShallBeLikeHim.com to download your free copy of a 45-day transformation devotional. Be sure to check out our website at BrotherLance.com to stay up to date. We really appreciate your support for sharing with your friends and family and leaving positive reviews. Together, we are sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. This has been the Christian Soul Prepper Podcast, preparing your soul for the second coming. Reschedule? Um, no, that won't be necessary. There is no need to call people names. Yeah. Yes, I forgive you for that. And also for that. Is that even a word? Come on now, that was a little blow. Okay, okay, okay. I think I, I, I know a way we can make this right. If you could bring us 200 foreskins, you can come back on the show. Hello? Hello, Mr. Obama? Hello?